Hey everybody, Jake here from Bearded Gear, and I'm ready to do my first impressions on the Koenig Mini Goblin. Uh, this knife is new to me, but it is not a new model. This is a collaboration between Shark Knife Co. and Koenig Knives out of Idaho. Um, I'm not sure where Shark Knife Co. is. I feel like I want to say like Hawaii or something, but <laughs> I don't know. Um, I've seen the Shark Knife Co. Shark Knife Co. guys at California Custom Knife Show before. Um, I've also met um, Bill Koenig at California Custom Knife Show, not this past year, but the one before. And uh, I really, really love Koenig knives. <laughs> um, that's probably abundantly clear if you've been following me for a while. I talk about them a ton. Um, I compare a lot of knives to my Arius because it has been my favorite knife for a long time. And I feel like the rest of my top list of knives is typically like pretty fluid and it's changing and things are dethroning other things a lot, but the Arius has just been kind of my favorite for so long that it's unique. <laughs> and uh, I love it. I've owned two of them now. I had a Gen 3, now I have a Gen 4. I carry it, I use it, I treat it like all my other knives and it is my favorite. It's my favorite knife in my collection. And uh, so, it's interesting when I unbox this. I talk about I talked about how it was a little bit interesting that it took me this long to finally get one, <laughs> because I've been such a Koenig fanboy for so long now that it's like this is really the only other knife that they make currently. They've made some onesie twosie stuff in the past. They made a fixed blade at one point, um, but like for the last few years, for as long as I've been in the game the only two knives that Koenig has made have been the Arius and this. And now the mini Arius is coming. I believe I saw earlier today that those will be being sold in some form or fashion. I don't know whether it's a pre-order or they'll have units there or what, but I think at Blade Show is kind of where that's happening. And uh, that's exciting. So the lineup is growing a little bit by shrinking the Arius. And uh, yeah, so really... I don't know, this is just, it's a knife that makes a lot of sense for me to want to, because I'm a sucker for worn cliffs. This size is excellent for me. It's one of those knives that can work as a primary for me or as a secondary. It's small enough, or at least I convince myself that it is. <laughs> if I'm carrying a, a much larger knife, I'll, I'll call this my secondary, put it in my back pocket, and I have now a couple times. Uh, but it's large enough and, and feels capable enough that I'll absolutely carry this as my primary as well. So I don't know, it just, it's, it is weird to me that I've taken this long to finally get one because I like the looks of it, although they can be a little polarizing for sure. I like a, a lot about it and Koenig is my favorite. So of course I want the other things that they make. Um, all right. So I'm going to be somewhat brief on this one. I usually say that and end up making it a long video, but I want to be a little bit concise and save a lot of my thoughts for the full review because uh, I'm pretty confident it's going to be very positive. I'm probably going to rave about the knife, but let's just share first impressions, how much I've carried it, and what's kind of stuck out to me so far. And then when I do my full review, I'll go, I'll, I'll kind of dive deeper into looks or not looks, but carry, cutting, action, and ergos, the typical things I'll talk about in a review. Looks we'll probably talk about as well. But so far, I've carried this knife, um, really, I've had it for a couple of days now, and it's been in pocket a handful of times. I've carried it as a primary, I think for one whole day, and then as a secondary, at least a whole day, probably another half a day. Um, I had it in my back pocket today for half the day. And it's been great in either role. Um, on the days that I've carried it, I've made a point to cut multiple things with it. So I've opened quite a few packages with it already. I've opened some like internal packaging from toys for my daughter, and then also just random like around the house stuff that I've ordered from Amazon. It's so like cutting clamshell packaging. I don't think I've done any zip ties with it yet. No, I take that back. I've done a zip tie with it because I specifically wanted to see how this tip did for it. And so it did great for the zip tie. It's done great for packaging. It's done great for opening the packages. And I've also processed some cardboard with it. I think that's about it. I haven't cut an apple with it yet or anything like that. But uh, yeah, I've, I've put it through some pretty decent kind of EDC task paces so far. And 
it's done really, really well. Um, it's a worn cliff with a hollow grind. The blade is nice and thin down behind the edge. The edge that's on it is really good. I like this edge a lot. Um, and it just, this type of blade works really well for a lot of that type of stuff going through tape and cardboard and opening packaging. Got a really precise tip down here that is super pokey stabby. <laughs> um, and then it's a nice thin cutting edge. It angles well to get my hand down onto it. And it just, it works as a, a cutting tool quite well so far for me. Um, carrying it has been pretty comfortable. It is a little bit thick and heavy for a secondary knife for me compared to a lot of others that I carry. It does have a lot of internal milling, but for some reason, like when I pick up the Arius, the Arius feels deceivingly light to me. Like when I look at it, it looks like it's gonna be heavier than it actually is when I pick it up. This knife doesn't do that as much as the Arius. This one doesn't feel like it's a tank or a brick. It's not overly heavy, but it's not like, uh, it doesn't have the same ratio <laughs> that the Arius does, if that makes sense. And that's purely based on my feel. That's not based on putting them both on a scale and then measuring, like, it, it's very unscientific. But to me, this one feels a little bit, like, heavier and thicker for its size, for sure. I don't know if the overall thickness is actually thicker than an Arius. In fact, it's probably a little thinner. But to me, because this knife can sneak in as a secondary and has, it does feel a little thick and a little heavy in pocket. Um, the pocket clip has done pretty well so far. Certainly not deep carry. You got about that much of the knife sticking out of your pocket but it's a skinny little tip that sticks out, so it's not super noticeable. I like that it's a relatively small skinny clip as well. Um, in and out of pocket, it's fine. Retention is good. One thing that is, I would say, different about this knife compared to my Arius, having both been built by Koenig, um, the detent on this knife is lighter than it is on my Arius. I do wish it was a little bit stiffer. I'm being totally honest and objective about this knife. I, I like that the detent on my Arius is just a, an awesome level of stiffness and it's so crispy. This one, it's not difficult at all to get this flipper right. And even if I try to fail it, let me try. Even if I try to fail it, it just softly goes out. Like <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm genuinely trying to push softly here. Let's see if I can, yeah, it's still, it deploys all the way. So it's not failing, but it doesn't have quite the punch that the Arius does. And I think a lot of that is probably, this one's tuned a little differently because this blade has such different weight and it's such a different profile. There's way less weight out toward the tip, especially this thing narrows down. And uh, so it's different proportions, but I would like it if the, if the detent was just a little bit poppier. Um, if I think about it and just kind of push button it a little more than light switch it, then it flies out. But I do like to light switch flippers. So anyway, um, yeah, it's it's doing really, really well for me so far. Um, people have asked, like the second that I got it, they're like, oh, is it better than the Arius? Like, no. <laughs> I had held one of these before. Um, I would have been beyond surprised if I got this knife and I found that it was better than the Arius. That, that wasn't why I bought this knife. Um, it's just even the design itself to me isn't as captivating as the Arius but I really really like the design I'm a sucker for Warncliffs I'm a sucker for this size of knife the Ergos actually work quite well for me this handle looks appearances wise like it could be pretty uncomfortable <laughs> when you just when you look at it it's kind of prismatic it's very comfortable in my hand um, the proportions are, are just right for actual use the blade feels very handy it's just it's a very good well thought out and well built knife of course it's well built koenig builds it i mean they do a phenomenal job but yeah it's not like it's not an arius killer for me I, if you asked me which i would rather sell today i'm keeping the arius <laughs> but i don't want to get rid of this either i i like this knife a lot and I'm glad that I have one. And it makes me happy to feel a little bit more complete that I've got both of Koenig's current knives. Um, one thing that you'll notice about this one as well, I should mention, the more recent ones, this one was from 2019, I think, on the date of birth card. The more recent ones, 
they've been doing a flat grind instead of this hollow grind. I think that's partially due to like wanting to increase the blade weight a little bit, makes the action a little bit more fun, I would suppose. Um, but I'm really glad that I've got the hollow grind one. I haven't done anything to this knife and I may end up looping it because I think this could probably drop shut a little better, but it's still, it's already stupid. I mean, it's very smooth for this little light blade. It's pretty impressively droppy, but I will, I'll toss some KPL in there in the next day or two and see if that helps things out a little bit. I don't know if I'll do a, a disassembly. I may if I, if I get bored, but lately I've been so busy. The idea of like taking a half hour to sit down and put the mat down and get everything situated and do a disassembly, get it back together, tune it. Like that's, that's not really my thing. Um, <laughs> I'll let Kevin do all the disassemblies. Not that I'm sending this to him to disassemble. He can disassemble his own knives, but, um, anyway, yeah, I'm really liking the mini goblin. I think this is a cool collaboration between Koenig and Shark Knife Co. I would imagine, I don't know based on experience, but I'd imagine the prices on customs from Shark Knife Co. are much more than these are. And this is an exceptionally well-built knife. I'd be flabbergasted if the customs were actually better in fit and finish and performance. Not saying that it wouldn't be worth it to get one of the customs, but Koenig builds some of my favorite knives in the absolute world. So this one is no different. It's built incredibly well. It feels like it came off the same line as the Arius, and, uh, and it did. So that makes sense. Anyway, thanks for checking it out, guys. This is just my first impressions. I will do my full review soon. We'll dive much deeper into it. By that time, I'll have carried it more, used it more, and uh, I'll have more experience to draw from. But that's where we're at now. So thanks for checking it out. I'll see you on the next one.